what is the middle terms of the sequence here you can see z repeat two times y repeat three times and x repeat four times and w repeat five times so it will go on increase up to a here total alphabets are 26 1 plus 25 is actually 26 but here z represent 2 so 2 plus 25 is 27 so a repeat 27 times here that means b repeat 26 times and c repeat 25 times so to find out the middle term take the sum of 2 to 27 first take the sum of 2 to 27 sum is n into n plus 1 by 2 here sum of 27 term is 27 into 28 divided by 2 but here is sum of 2 to 27 1 is absent here so subtract 1 from it 2 into 14 is 28 27 into 10 270 20 into 4 80 7 into 4 28 so 270 plus 80 plus 28 is equal to 378 378 minus 1 is equal to 377 so sum is 377 here that means middle term is sum divided by 2 that is 377 divided by 2 that is 198.5 that means 189th term is middle term so to find out which of the alphabet is 189th term here 20 into 9 is equal to 180 that means it is nearer to 9 terms so first I will take the reverse order. A, re A repeat 27 times, B repeat 26 times, C repeat 25 times, D repeat 24 times, E repeat 23 times, F repeat 22 times, G repeat 21 times, H repeat 20 times and I repeat 19 times. Here you can see a to H terms total 8 sequences and sum of 20 to 27 sum of 20 to 27 means or I will take number of terms number of terms means number of A to H terms that is equal to we have total 8 terms from 20 to 27 so 8 into 20 160 Plus 1 to 7 sum is 7 into 8 divided by 2. That is 56 by 2, 28. So that is equal to 188. So we have total 188 terms from A to H. We have 188 terms. That means I is the 189th term. From A to H, we have total 188 terms. That is 20 plus 21 plus 22 plus 23 plus 24 plus 25 plus 26 plus 27 is 188. 20 into 8, 160. Then 1 to 7 sum is 7 into 8 by 2. That is 28. So total 188 terms in terms from A to H. That is I is the 189th term. 